It's been a while since my last clandestine devlog, and I've made so much progress and many drastic changes to the game. If this is your first time seeing my devlog, I'll give a little explanation on what I want this game to be. It's basically a 1v5 arena juggernaut game. One player is the juggernaut, and it's a creature called a cloaker. There's definitely some benefits while playing as the cloaker. You're able to move faster than anyone else. You can stick to and climb walls. And most importantly, you're invisible. But not quite 100%. Think of Joey's world, um, Predator. It becomes easier to see once you've trained your eyes. You may have seen a game like this a long time ago called The Hidden Source. I love that game and want to make something that's heavily inspired by it while also improving and adding onto everything it's achieved. This is not the end. In the last devlog, we covered the cloaker's movement and physics pickup system. The main parts of this new update is of course the inclusion of multiplayer and the new human side of the game. First, I worked on the human movement. The human should be a lot slower and also have the ability to sprint. And while we're at it, let's make the cloaker sprint too. The humans can still pick stuff up and drag their teammates' bodies around, but their strength is nowhere near that of the cloaker. After that, we needed guns. Now I wanted a shotgun first, since that was my favorite weapon to use in Hidden. Unfortunately, I wasn't patient enough to model one in the blender thing, so I just slapped together a couple cylinders, cubes, and materials, and made this sweet shotgun. Uh, we'll get back to weapons soon. I made a new loading screen and menu that were super basic along with some future soldiers that I purchased from the asset store. I changed the pickup system so it's a lot less spongy. You can also hold left click to tighten the grip and release to throw. My ragdoll physics have also received lots of improvement and don't glitch out as much as they used to. Pinning bodies up works a lot better now and humans can be torn off of their pinned location. You can also just walk through doors now, just be sure to close them behind you. I also changed the sticking on the cloaker so it's a little more smooth and enjoyable. For now, let's get back to the sweet stuff. Guns. I created a scriptable object that allows me to create guns really quickly and easily. Thanks to Welton King for this idea. His tutorials are also great, and he likes hot dogs. Hot dog! In my gun script, I've included a ton of options that include clip size, recoil, damage, and fire rate. On each of my weapons, I have a hip state and an aim state that I can switch between. When aiming, the field of view for the camera is reduced depending on the weapon you're holding. For now, when you reload your gun, it just disappears for a little until it comes back with a full clip of pure cancer. When shooting another player or target, you also get a hit marker that flashes on the screen and makes a reassuring noise. For each gun, I can adjust the kickback and recoil, which are just visual effects. This is really helpful, because now when I create animations for the gun shooting, all I have to do is make the slide or bolt go back and forth. And if I don't like the way the recoil works, I just change it in the inspector. I want the gunplay to feel tactile and quick, but also weighty and satisfying. Weapon sway, hit markers, sounds, and head bobbing are all really big parts of this. 
I've included a few sounds for shooting guns, injuries, and hit markers. A lot of the sounds I just made in Audacity and VFXR, and will definitely be swapped out in the future. I just recently found audio reverb zones in Unity, and they are awesome. You can place them somewhere on your map, and it will change the reverb of your sounds in that particular location. And at last, we have a new menu. I photoshopped all my buttons and changed my menu so it kind of looked like Rocket League. You can also orbit around your character, that hopefully you can customize later. In the menu, you can see a list of servers or even create your own. Anyone can join without port forwarding and it's super easy. Eventually, I'll give you the ability to lock your server with a password. In the lobby, I want the host to be able to change all sorts of game options, like the round length, map, and exactly who gets to be the cloaker. While working on the multiplayer aspect of my game, my cats would not stop bugging me, which further added to the frustration. Everyone says to follow this tutorial by Tom Whelan, but I just couldn't. I basically just copied all of his code, and in the end, it was just way too difficult to blend with my project. I decided to go with something different and try Photon Pun. It is a lot easier and still free, unless there's actually people that want to play my game, because 20 is the maximum amount of people I can have at the moment. I followed Rugbug Redfern's multiplayer tutorial to learn about Photon and how networking brings players from all around together. I definitely recommend it since it's really up to date and the tutorials are really clean and easy to follow. Here's a little gameplay of me and my friend, and just keep in mind that these beans are for sure staying in the game. I know I said I like this future soldier dude, but come on, just a, such a sexy bean. Oh, I got the sniper. But you, you got me at the sniper. No, that was just a pistol. Oh, really? Double What's shot though. The power on it. I, I hit didn't you with check both. the damage for it. Where the heck did you go? Yeah, you vanished, dude. Oh shit. Oh man, I thought I spawned by you, but I didn't. What? I headshotted you twice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Did I kill you? Oh. If you no scope with the sniper, the recoil is so high. Wait, what the fuck? Is that what? Where even <laughs> were you? I was just like to your left, and you both have a knife. Oh, oh what a flip. that was crazy! Oh, <laughs> the last one. Hey. hey. <laughs> Thanks for watching my second devlog, I still have so much work to do, so this is really just the beginning.